Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna be talking about all of the supplements and vitamins that I take as someone with Crohn's disease. I'm gonna say I'm giving total like Trunchbull vibes. So, <laughs> happy Saturday. First off, I initially met with my dietitian because I was deficient in several areas, like one of the main ones being vitamin D. So she recommended taking a prenatal vitamin. So I take this. There's like a bunch of other ones out there, but I like this one. I feel like it covers a lot of the vitamins and other supplements. Like some prenatal vitamins out there don't have like a variety of supplements in them. So this was the one I found like with the most variety and also the highest like percentage of each supplement. So I will say that like a prenatal typically only has like 1000 units of vitamin D in it, which isn't a lot. I was told that you can take 5,000 units of vitamin D. So in addition to the prenatal vitamins, I also sometimes take vitamin D gummies and I just kind of like take the difference. So like um, since this has 1,000 units of vitamin D, I think each gummy typically is a thousand units so i would take four more to get me to five thousand units of vitamin d doing this did help me get my vitamin d levels back to like a normal regular state so that was good i don't have to keep doing that because i've gotten to a point where all of my levels are normal now but when I did need that extra boost, um, that's what I was doing. I still take prenatal vitamins, I guess like every other day, just to kind of get my body back on track. But for the most part, my vitamin levels are pretty normal now. But a prenatal is a good one to just kind of cover like all those basic areas. If you're someone with IBD or an autoimmune disease, prenatal vitamins can kind of help you cover all the bases. Another good one to take if you have IBD would be like a probiotic. I actually just ran out recently, so I don't have a bottle, but I was told that you can either, you know, take a probiotic or a yogurt a day is kind of like the same thing. So whether you take a probiotic or just have a yogurt a day, Getting some type of probiotic in your system if you have IBD is a really good idea to kind of reduce symptoms. Another one that's been highly recommended, especially if you have any type of inflammatory like disease at all, is turmeric. So I take one of these a day. From what I've read, you can take anywhere from like 500 milligrams a day to 2,000 milligrams a day. These are 1,000, so I just take one of these and that usually helps me feel pretty good, but it's a really good way to reduce inflammation overall, especially like in the long run. So, turmeric. Another one that I've had to take recently as someone with an autoimmune disease is biotin gummies because to be real I have kind of lost a decent amount of hair my hair has thinned quite a bit um, throughout this whole process so it's getting better like I can actually tell these are really helping so I get the Vegamore grow biotin gummies so I can actually significantly tell a difference even from using this like just for like a few days like my ponytail feels thicker I don't know so I definitely recommend this if you 
or someone with an autoimmune disease and you've struggled with any type of hair loss. And not only that, but they're like this really freaking cute little heart shape. Like, yeah, I want to take this every day. Like, I mean, come on, that's just good vibes. So it's another one that I like to take. And then the last one, this is like one of my favorite brands right now. I'm like really, really like in love with this company. Um, so the company is Symbiotica. And so this is a magnesium supplement. So as someone recovering from IBD, I struggle with brain fog like quite a bit and, and honestly some memory issues and just things of that sort. I know like the gut has a significant impact on the brain and so magnesium is a really good supplement to just kind of like keep yourself feeling sharp and on top of it and focused. I can really also tell like a difference with these. I usually take um, them at night before I go to bed. It's just a little, um, let me show you. So it's actually a liquid. This one is vanilla cream flavored. So you can put it in like your drink or you can just take it straight. I take it straight because honestly, I think it actually is pretty good. And so, yeah, this is I think magnesium is a really important one to take if you do struggle with like brain fog and just like staying focused. Okay, the last thing. I've been drinking this at night. So it's cacao, it's organic cacao. Cacao is a really, really beneficial food to add into your diet. So I, Honestly, I've been just putting this in like hot water and drinking that. Sometimes I do like almond milk or soy milk. Um, this might be a little bitter for some people, but I don't mind that. I like the taste, whether it's sweetened, unsweetened, I don't really care. I just like it. That is it. The, those are the supplemental herbs, vitamins superfoods that I kind of work into my diet. I really do feel like a lot of these make a difference and they help me feel really good and healthy. Thank you for coming to my Trunchbull talk. Please comment down below if you have any other like vitamins or superfoods or herbs that you find are helpful to either like IBD or your autoimmune disease. Whatever it is, I want to like share our tips and tricks with the community. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content and if you want to join the healing community. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!